I went to class. Um, it is currently like 7.20 a.m. Why do I have this mask on? Wow. <laughs> so it's currently like 7.20 a.m. And I'm on my way to class. Um, this week I had to be there by 8 a.m. These 8 a.m.s are literally about to be the death of your girl. I'm not even gonna lie. But on the way to class, we are doing. Um, what are we doing in class today? I think we're doing PRRs from last week, and we're going to start our base learners and submits. So, y'all just stay tuned for that because I'm actually going to document it this time because last time I didn't document it. So, I'm going to document it this time. Oh my god, it's just getting dark. But yeah, I just wanted to give a little intro, you know, so y'all can see what, okay. Yeah, I just wanted to give an intro so y'all can kind of see what's going on. My hair is a hot mess, I already put my wig back on. But yeah, y'all stay tuned for the video because your girl is really about to learn some dentistry today. A little dentistry piece, you know, a little bit, a little sprinkle in there. We're actually learning um, dentistry, which I'm very excited about. So y'all stay tuned for that, enough rambling. You know, I'm about to just get into the video when I get to class and show y'all what I was doing. Okay. So why are you going to shoot with a car? Okay, so this is the for mix, so you don't have a lot of time. So why are you going to shoot with a car? So I'm taking you to here, and so I'm going to start here. You have a very, you're going to take a very thin... I personally like to do it with, uh, they have a dice here. So. No, you don't have it. You don't have a lot of things like that. Not on that gender before, just focal form and actual wall. Excuse me, I'm getting this all on the wall. Make sure it gets on the focal floor, and then the walls of the prep, just use your tool to take it off as much as you can. See, that's my thing. Whenever I'm putting it in, it's like getting caught on the side versus like... I don't know, do they mean it's a lot enough? Um, you, just, you just don't have the right um, tool. Oh, okay. Yeah, you don't have the right instrument, that's all. So just try and get in there as much as possible. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You need a whole
How does mine look? Are we on video? Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. What are we looking at? You know we can take this out, right? Uh, okay. Do you need to take this out? Yeah. One second, one second. Did you see what you did? Yeah. Okay. Do you mind? Mm -hmm. you ever think yes, no. No, I don't mind. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Too much in there, right? Just wipe it off. You're able to wipe it off. So, you're good. Yeah, as y'all can see, I was definitely asking a lot of questions because your girl had to make sure she was doing it right, okay? I had to make sure I was on key on points because I need that A. Nothing, nothing less than an A. That's what I need. So yeah, I just came back from lab, got out of class, and I did my, um, we did a PRR, which is a protective resin restoration type B, um, in lab today, and it was cool, like, I'm driving right now and vlogging, so don't be like me. But yeah, so today was fun in class today. Um, I got very good feedback on my PRR type B. And we also did, um, we were starting to do a indirect pulp cap. And basically we just applied the liner and the base. And then, you know, next class period, we were gonna finish the pulp capping. So, Things went well today. I literally thought I was not going to be prepared, but I was prepared. So, you know, that's always a plus. So the difference between a PRR type A versus a PRR type B is really just the location. So the PRR type A is going to be localized only within the enamel. And the type B is going to project to the dentin but not in the dentin so you know the steps are similar but you just like it's a little different you know because depending on the depth you know you have to apply different things so that was just what we did today oh and also um an indirect versus a direct pulp capping really just depends on the area in simple terms um basically direct you're going to um directly see the pole like that's how i understand it like of course you know it's more professional medical terminology but like in simple terms for y'all to understand like you'll see the pulp in a direct pulp capping so when you're basically taking out a carious lesion if the lesion is basically in the dentin and you see that you're getting to the pulp that is a direct pulp cap but if you take out the carious lesion and you don't and you do not see the pulp being exposed you do not have to add um or basically that would be an indirect pulp cap. So that's that. And yeah. Oh, another thing to add. Um, I feel like this is all over the place. But yeah, in direct pulp capping, you're going to apply MTA first. Versus an indirect pulp cap, you could just go ahead and apply the calcium hydroxide as the liner. So, but yeah, other than that... And I hope y'all Okay, people can't drive But What in the world? People cannot drive in D.C. I hate it Okay, but yeah um, Yeah, y'all Yeah, yeah. that's it That's all I had to say um, I hope y'all enjoyed the videos I know it's pretty short today But Yeah